concern about the massive volume of the death toll there? The administration came out in support of the Baker's freedom of expression in yesterday's Supreme Court case. I guess I'm asking why are athletes' rights to express themselves freely any different than the Baker's? Uh, when it comes to the Baker's, we're pleased with the Supreme Court's decision. Uh, the First Amendment prohibits government discriminating against the basis of religious beliefs, and the Supreme Court rightly concluded that the Colorado Civil Rights Commission failed to show tolerance and respect for his religious beliefs. In this case and others, the Department of Justice will continue to vigorously vigorously defend the free speech and religious freedom First Amendment rights. So, uh, so I sorry. guess my question is simple. So if the White House supports the Baker's right of free speech, why doesn't the White House support the players' right to free speech? Uh, the president doesn't think that this is an issue simply of free speech. He thinks it's about respecting uh, the men and women of our military. It's about respecting our national anthem, and it's about standing out of pride for that. Will he commit? Will the president then, if it is about free speech and he supports these ideas, will the president commit to a roundtable with America's athletes yes. on topics of social injustice? I'd certainly, be happy to ask him. See you. Why has he not? Has sorry, he not? Has it, just for clarity, has he not? Is it not something that has had any discussion to this point, given all the division in this country over this topic of social injustice? Uh, certainly, we look at ways every single day to unify our country. The president has uh, worked actively and tirelessly to be the president of all Americans. I think you can see that reflected in the policies that he's put forth. I think one of the biggest things that you've seen come out of this administration, frankly, that is far and vastly different than previous administrations, is providing economic opportunity for all Americans. And one of the greatest equalizers that we can have is to provide a level playing field. And the president has worked increasingly hard uh, to make sure that that happens. Kevin spoke about that earlier, and he's going to continue to do that. Let me take one last question, Stephen. About police involved yeah, shootings. You, Stephen. Is the president aware that this is Sorry, about Stephen, police involved shootings and not about disrespecting the flag? Is the president aware of that? Stephen, if you could go. I understand you're going to Stephen, but I'm asking: that. is the this is there's an underlying issue, and it just keeps going about disrespect of the flag and soldiers. There are black and brown soldiers that fight in the military as well who feel that taking a knee, bringing an attention to police involved shootings, is something that this White House should deal with. Is the president aware that taking the knee? is about police-involved shootings. The president has made his position uh, crystal clear and that it's about, about I'm, I, I let you shootings. rudely interrupt me and your colleague. I'm, I'm going to ask that you allow me to finish answer. my sorry. answer. I, I would be happy to answer it if you would stop talking long enough to let me do that. The president has made his position crystal clear on this topic. He feels strongly that standing for our national anthem uh, is something that we should do, something that matters to what makes our country special and unique and what sets us apart. Uh, he's not going to waver on that, and he's not going to apologize for it. And frankly, more than 70 percent of Americans agree with him on that matter. If you go back to what the original intent was, this has been made a political argument of which the president is not going to back down from, and he's been clear on it. Stephen, last question. April, I've addressed your question. I'm not going to continue to engage with you, Stephen. The NFL is now telling people they have to stand. Will the president deal with the issue of police-involved shootings? I'm going to deal with the issue of addressing your colleague's question. But it's a real question. Can you take it to the president and come back to us with it? Stephen, go ahead. Always happy to yield to a colleague, but let me ask you, you about Scott.